Hi, this is Bruce. You see me okay? <laughs> All right, what are we doing now? I've been making the cheapest possible beehives out of pallet wood. All right, why would I do such a thing as that? Well, price of wood is getting way high and pallets are free. Now I do the ends differently, but I'm doing these out of pallet wood. And I'll show you how I do that in the video. So hang out with me a little bit. I'm gonna paint a little bit first though. It's not too scientific what I'm doing. I'm just cutting them up. You know, quite a few of these I'm gonna reject, and that's fine, it's free, so it <laughs> doesn't hurt anything. So I find that I'm running a little bit low on my five frame boxes, it's time to make a few more. Now, the way I'm doing it these days is I use the four by eight size lumber, right? A board like that is pretty cheap, I can get it for like 11 bucks at Lowe's, Home Depot, and I like to just put a groove right across with my uh, table router, and that's just to give me a, a finger grip. Now, for the shelf, you notice that's a little bit deeper than what's standard. 
that is a three quarter inch cut this way, three quarter inch cut this way. Now, the reason I do that, when these frames are on the shelf, see there's a lot of room at the top of that frame right here. And that gives me room on the top to put a beetle barn, some peppermint candy, pollen patty, whatever I want to put. So that's the, that's the sides of my, of, my, uh, of my five frame nuke box. What I'm going to try this time is a little different than what I've done in the past. With my five frames, I've been using plywood sides. But have you priced plywood lately? Holy smokes, it's gone crazy right through the roof. So what I did was I've taken some pallet wood and I just cut it like that. Now this is a um, this is going to be a swarm trap. So it's it's not standard size. It's it's 20 inches tall. It still has my same um, end pieces. And um, I haven't added a floor to it yet. I haven't added a hole yet. But um, anyway, so pallet wood for the sides. Now, so I set them up like this. And on this narrow plywood, or narrow uh, pallet wood, I just stack them out. Now the key to doing this, you'll see me make some in a minute. Oh, I have to change that one. I forgot to put a groove on that one. <laughs> but the key to doing this is you want to get the top right here completely level. Can you see that all right? This right here, the top, that is the most critical dimension right there. You want to have it flush here. So flush here, flush here. And as you can see, it takes really it takes three and a piece. So here's some that I cut off when I did the um, swarm trap over there. So it'll go like that. Now, in this pallet wood, there's nails that have been cut off. There's cracks. You see some nail holes in them, knot holes. Some of them are a little bit cupped. And when I put these together, you'll notice some of them are different thicknesses. So this one and this one are not the same thickness at all. But it doesn't matter because when I put these up together, the interior cavity is going to be perfect. Okay? The interior cavity is going to be perfect. And when I paint these, now, I'm just going to glue the ends when I screw them down, but I'm not even going to run a, t a glue on the top. But when I paint these, it won't let light into the inside. And if it's got a hole through it, like this one's got a hole clean through, you know, if it's got a hole that goes all the way through, the bees will propolis that up. The bees are going to coat the inside of this with propolis. So pallet wood is free. Um, it was for the asking people I asked they said yeah you can have some and this smells like cedar I'm not sure what all it's made of some is oak some is pine that one there is I'm pretty sure is cedar wood and so when I put this together the bees will coat the inside with propolis and these should last me a long time and they're very inexpensive all right here we go Hopefully you can see that all right. So I uh, grabbed a different one that had a groove in it. So 
I just size these up just to make sure I'm on the right track. That looks perfect. Okay, so trusty glue pot. As usual, I'm using Type Bond 3 in that. That seems to be about the best thing for me. So, I just want to line it up to where these ends at the very top are flush, right? Now, I have to kind of watch because there's the groove here and there's the finger, you know, is there the frame rest inside? So just you take a look at them, choose about the best size. This one's got kind of a bad spot in it, so it's a little smoother on the inside. So I'll put that on the inside. Just want to get it as flush up as I can. Okay, now for the bottom one, this scrap was cut off and it's got some bad spots in it, sure, that one on the outside there, but the inside is not too bad. And if I just put it right there, just like that, I'll trim off the bottom when I'm done here. Something like that. You know, I can see a little crack in there, daylight, but once it's painted, there won't be any daylight and the bees are going to clean it all up inside. All right, so a little more glue. What suck there? Okay, so I'm over here at my table saw. 
know if you can see that all right. Let me move a little bit here. Hopefully that helps. Okay, so here's here's a, a side. This is 10 inches long. So if I put that here, I put my fence against it. That's just right. Now I've got the blade set fairly high because I want it to go through. It might have to go through the, just the end if I shave a little bit off the bottom of that. All right. So see how I'm. I want to trim off that bottom excess here. Okay, here is a perfectly ugly pallet wood hive. Now, I know it's ugly. <laughs> I believe it. But you know what? The bees don't care. It's the same side on the interior. I'm going to dip it in tall earth like I usually do, wood preservative. Then I'm going to paint it. And then It'll work on. It'll live on for a long time. Now, some of my some of my beehives nowadays, I'm putting um, screen bottoms on because mainly I'm concerned with raising new bees. When they get big enough, I'll put them in bigger boxes. So that's how we do it. All right. Okay. Well, there you have it. Here's uh, I come up with uh, four of the five frame nuke boxes and the one swarm trap made out of pallet wood. I think they it didn't come out too bad. I mean, um, I mean, they're drying now, but that's two coats of paint. And um, I was focusing in on getting all the end grain. But yeah, I'm going to be using those. Okay, there you go.